All right, so before we start today's Star Wars video, I want to tell you guys about Dragon City. Today's sponsor and a game in which you can rename all your dragons to create your own Star Wars meme fest. This dragon's called It's Over Anakin. This is High Ground. It's Over Anakin's son, who also has a kid called Don't Try It. And it goes on and on. Don't you think this looks a little like Jabba the Hutt? Dragon City is a free to play game available on Android, iOS, Windows, and Amazon, which allows you to collect thousands of dragons and build your own Dragon City. Look, this is where the Kray Dragon, you know that giant thing on Tatooine in the Mandalorian when everyone's like, what in God's name is, well, this is where he goes to hang out after terrorizing the poor people of Mos Pelago. You can breed two dragons together to get new ones, like I bred It's Over Anakin with Jabba to get high ground. You can also feed them so they evolve and get much bigger, and then you've got to train your dragons so they don't get killed like the Kray Dragon. You take him into battle and show other players your Kray Dragon means business. No jetpacking tin can's gonna mess with me. Also, there are weekly events and adventures to play through, and if you click the link in the description, you'll get some free rewards to use in game. 15,000 food. Look at those yummy, yummy apple tomatoes. 30,000 gold. Yes, I'm rich. And the very rare Thief Chief Dragon, who I'll be renaming Gardula Basadi the Elder. These rewards are only available for new users and only if you have the latest version of the game. So follow the link in the description, download Dragon City, and start renaming dragons to things like this. As far as we know, the new LEGO Star Wars is completely ignoring all of the content I'm about to show you. So far, there's been no mention of it being in the game, as TT Games have explicitly said they're only focusing on content from the nine Skywalker films. We also know there will be six DLC character packs available after launch and with the deluxe edition, and these include The Mandalorian Season 1 and 2, Rogue One, Solo A Star Wars Story, the Classic Characters Pack, and The Bad Batch. We also know that several LEGO sets will include codes which can be entered into the game to unlock exclusive content. But as far as I know, these codes just unlock vehicles and ships and not actual minifigures. So today, I want to go through all the Star Wars content the new LEGO Star Wars is ignoring, because there's some pretty huge characters it seems the game will exclude unless they're unlocked later via additional character packs or are hidden somewhere within the game. Like Yoda hiding under a rock on Dagobah, sees someone for the first time in years and has literally lost his mind. Playing with a flashlight. Fighting R2-D2, what a life he lives. A true Jedi master. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. Okay, first up, the Clone Wars. It seems the Skywalker Saga will have some Clone Wars content with crossover Bad Batch characters, but it's not at all clear how much. LEGO Star Wars 3, the Clone Wars, which was released in 2011, is one of the most popular LEGO games ever made. So it'd be really strange for TT Games to not at least make some kind of reference to it, right? I think it's likely we'll see certain Clone Wars characters appear in the new LEGO Star Wars. Like it'd be hard to imagine the game without Ahsoka and Rex, just as, you know, additional characters you can unlock through a bonus or a secret or something, but I don't think we'll get much more than this. Super unlikely there'll be Clone Wars themed appearances for Obi-Wan, Anakin, Maul, or anyone else. The game is much more focused on the Skywalker films, so Clone Wars minifigures seem like they'll be excluded. But what about other side characters like Cad Bane, Commander Gregor, Cody, Ventress, Savage Press, Hondo and Naka? At the moment, it's unlikely we'll see any of these characters make an appearance in New Lego Star Wars unless the game receives a retro Clone Wars pack. Would be great to get this down the track to make reference to the Lego Clone Wars game and even though that game was released 10 years ago I'm assuming they'd still have the minifigures and character animations on file at TT Games so upscaled versions shouldn't be too difficult to integrate into the new game but that said the new Lego Star Wars is built in an entirely new engine so it's possible they'd have to start from scratch redesigning character animations in the new engine. And Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens the last Lego Star Wars game released had a Clone Wars character pack which includes Included Asajj Ventress, Aura Singh, Barris Offi, Cad Bane, Captain Rex, Commander Cody, Honda Wanaka, Savage Press, and a Republic gunship. So wouldn't you love to see Clone Wars DLC down the track and all this stuff come to the Skywalker saga? Okay, next up, closely related to the Clone Wars is Star Wars Rebels. And there seems to be even less of a chance that any Rebels content will be released for the Skywalker saga. Star Wars Rebels aired between 2014 and 2018, meaning by the time the new LEGO Star Wars actually released, Releases, the series will be even older in the Star Wars timeline of releases. A bit different to The Clone Wars, which received Season 7 in 2019 and is still being referenced and closely related to The Bad Batch. So Rebels feels quite old now, and unless TT Games have already included some Rebels content in the Skywalker Saga, as bonuses, easter eggs, whatever, you'd have to feel they'd be prioritizing other packs and characters based on more recent
recent, more popular Star Wars shows. I just think it's a lot harder to convince people to buy an additional character pack now based on characters from a TV series that wrapped nearly four years ago and doesn't have the same lasting presence as the Clone Wars. So which characters are we missing out on? Well, Lego Force Awakens also featured a bonus Rebels character pack featuring Ahsoka Tano with her white lightsabers, pretty cool, Chopper, Ezra Bridger, Hera Syndulla, Kanan Jarrus, Sabine Wren, the seventh sister Inquisitor, Zeb Aurelios, and the Ghost. So again, it'd be great to see these characters eventually make their way into the new game, but also again, it really doesn't feel like a priority. Okay, next up is a new Star Wars show that's been filming for the past few months, Andor, the Rogue One prequel, which I'm finally starting to get more excited about the more I learn who's involved in the show. Diego Luna plays Cassian Andor, of course, but the show will also feature the return of Forrest Whitaker as Saw Gerrera, so we'll likely see how this connects to the Bad Batch, Fallen Order, and so much more. They seem to really love bringing Saw Gerrera into all of this, as well as Stellan Skarsgård playing a new role, and I've also heard that Ben Mendelsohn will be returning as director Orson Krennic, which likely means it's time to deploy the at the moment, we don't know much about the new LEGO Star Wars' future plans and whether or not the game will have an active live service with content updates, although at the moment it doesn't seem likely based on previous releases. Once TT Games build and release a game, there might be some small DLC packs, but that's usually about it. Although this new game is bigger than anything they've done before and they might, you know, change some stuff with it, introduce some more updates, but Andor is releasing in 2022, hopefully after the new LEGO Star Wars. Man, still waiting for that. So it's super unlikely we'll be seeing any Andor characters pop up and make an appearance. Next up is another Star Wars show releasing late this year, The Book of Boba Fett. Now I'm really hoping this is after the release of the new LEGO Star Wars and that the game doesn't get another delay, but I'd still be surprised if the Skywalker Saga features characters and content specifically from this series, as it's a short run special series, kind of like a Mandalorian 2.5. So the Skywalker Saga will obviously have Boba Fett as a playable character. He appears in the films, obviously, riding with the trash out of the Star Destroyer. That's Boba Fett style. So hopefully we also get little boy, yep, Boba. Oh crap, that dude just sliced off my dad's head. And with Mandalorian character packs for season one and two, I think it's also really likely the game will feature Boba's updated, repainted appearance. And probably Fennec Shand will also be there too. Could also get her in the Bad Batch character pack. But in terms of other characters, very few details are known about the book of Boba Fett. And when we're not entirely sure who will be involved, but likely lots more bounty hunters and people who were related to Jabba the Hutt and a bunch of new characters who will be introduced in the new show. I think the Skywalker Saga will already have a bunch of playable bounty hunters. Hopefully Bosk and Dengar and IG-88 make the cut, maybe even Forlom, but anyone new in the show likely won't be included. Okay, next up is Star Wars Resistance, the series released between 2018 and 2020 and was set around the time of The Force Awakens. Now, this show was definitely targeted at a younger audience, which kind of goes hand in hand with the new LEGO Star Wars. TT Games has said their intention is to make the new LEGO Star Wars accessible to anyone from children of young age to an older audience who will be able to appreciate the game's depth. All that said, super unlikely there'll be any resistance content or characters in the game. Similar to Rebels, this show is getting a bit older. Yes, even though it only ended last year, but how many people do you know who still talk about Star Wars resistance? <laughs> All right, here's an interesting one. LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens featured a Freemaker Adventures character pack. For those who don't know, LEGO Star Wars The Freemaker Adventures was an animated series aired on Disney XD, and parts of it are actually pretty funny. You can tell it's influenced by some of the LEGO humor in LEGO games. Love Palpatine in this series, he's great, like the LEGO Holiday Special. The final episode of The Freemaker Adventures aired in 2017, so again, I think it's unlikely we'll see any of these characters or content in the game, because it's not where the focus is right now. All right, so what about some of the other new Disney Plus series and films. After The Book of Boba Fett, Mandalorian Season 3 and Andor, we have the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. I think even Mando 3 is too far into the future to be featured in the game and the same goes for Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan will obviously be in the game and probably multiple versions as in Phantom Menace with the rat's tail, Attack of the Clones with the mullet, Revenge of the Sith with the combed hair and Old Man Ben Kenobi with the white hair. Maybe we'd get a Tatooine middle-aged Obi-Wan from the new show, but 
but we'll see. And the same goes for all shows that follow this. Ahsoka, Rangers of the New Republic, The Acolyte, even the film Rogue Squadron. Some of these projects are still way too far into the future, so it's not likely we'll see them in the game unless they keep updating it for a few years to come, which could happen. We don't know yet, but unlikely. And just a few other things I wanted to mention, even if we are getting DLC character packs from certain films and TV shows, there'll be no story content from them, including Solo, Rogue One, Bad Batch, and more. The story and set pieces, open world, and entire game of the Skywalker Saga are focused on the Skywalker Saga and the nine Skywalker Saga films, and that's it. But Lego The Force Awakens also received a few level packs released after launch, including Jakku, Poe's Quest for Survival, First Order Siege of Takadana, Escape from Starkiller Base, and my favorite, the Phantom Limb level pack, where you get to discover the thrilling adventure that led to C-3PO's new red arm. Riveting stuff, love it. The Force Awakens also got a few other character packs. There was a droids pack with General Grievous, R5-D4, W1-LE, and others, super random. There was a Jabba's Palace pack with Jabba himself, Slave Leia, Boosh, and lots more. These characters will all likely be in the game because they're from Return of the Jedi. But some of the packs also included some really minor, obscure characters I'm hoping we'll see in the new game, but they might skip a few. We know we're getting a playable Yaddle for the first time ever in any Star Wars game, but what about Aayla Sakura, Key Eddie Mundi, Kit Fisto, Luminara Unduli, Mace Windu, Plo Koon, CC Tin, Shark T. I'm really hoping that because the new game is focusing on the Skywalker saga, we'll get some really random, obscure characters to play as. Hopefully my man Kit Fisto doesn't miss out, or what about Even Peel, or Yarl Poof, that legend from Robot Chicken, hiding in the cafeteria. So what's one character you'd love to see in the new Lego Star Wars you're not sure will be included? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to check out Dragon City and claim some free rewards, and download the game using the link in the description. And for more on the latest in LEGO Star Wars, you can watch one of these videos here. And follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and join my Discord for lots more Star Wars gaming news updates and everything you could ever need. And thanks for watching this. My name's Andrew. I'll catch you soon. <laughs> Stay bombastic.